It's mid-March and almost planting time in the farming mecca of McGee, Arkansas. It's a town of less than 4,000 located in Deshea County and home to some of the most fertile soil in the state's southeastern quadrant. Farmers here are watching the forecast, fearing a cold snap could push planting back another week. Your frost damage on it now. But at Miles Farms in McGee, Matt Miles and his son Lane have beans and corn already three inches high. The root system's fine. Of course, we broke this one off, but it's got good feet of roots. Um, you know, they're going to reach the fertilized now. You can see the fibrous roots that, that's coming off of the plant. Everything looks good now. The Miles planted their beans just six days after Valentine's and corn two days later on February 22nd. Both crops emerged in nine days. We get made fun of a lot. We get talked about behind the scenes. Crazy to some, but maybe these experimenters are miles ahead of others. They tried this for the first time last year, just with the beans, and their yields more than doubled the county's average. It's a funny story because we were sitting in the office and kind of just talking about, you know, it was getting a little bit dry, it's middle of February, and Dad and Rob said, why don't we plant some beans? And I said, that's probably not a real good idea. Long story short, by the time that they got to figuring up all the math on frost dates and when cotyledonary leaves were gonna fall off, stuff like that, you know, we ended up harvesting them the end of July, brought it 79 bushels, got another crop of beans in, totaled up like right around 120 bushels on one acre, two crops. It was a Cinderella story. We harvested those beans on July the 29th, I think, and had a planter on July 31st come back in and replant another crop of soybeans. After we done that, we seen kind of what the day length was gonna be there and what the maturity was gonna be on those beans, and we thought, okay, we can get a third crop in here. Pretty much the growing points right there. This is not madness. So, the Miles Road to sustained success hasn't been solidified, but they know that. This is the chances you take when you're trying to do research. We fail as much as we succeed, but if we can find a few things that will increase production for our neighbors and us and everyone else, it's a win-win situation. The only way to figure this out is to come out here and try it. Uh, again, we're not betting the bank on it. We, we know we've got a pretty good chance of having to replant each time we try it. Did it work first year, right? So you've got to string two or three years together to be able to see if it's sustainable and, and repeatable. That's what this year's for. An early harvest helps farmers avoid the blows of hurricane season and means more equipment efficiency, allowing machines to work more acres. Now this may work and it may not work but some of those things would be the advantages to planting early. Understanding that you're probably gonna lose a little more sleep when you try to plant something that early. We've added corn to the mix. So we had soybeans last year, this year we did a field of soybeans, a field of corn. So the goal is to see how early is too early. There's only one way to find out, and that's put it in a field. And not put it in a field in one pass, but put it in a field as a normal farming practice. The weather's never gonna be the same. So that's where the, the repeatability and the sustainability part of this working is something. We're gonna have to do it two or three years to see. My goal here is, is we can go earlier, we can harvest earlier, we can maybe limit some risk on the backside. Now doing that, we're gonna increase the risk on the front side. Try to replicate what we did last year. The earlier the bean, the quicker we can get it off, we can get something else planted behind it. And maybe, you know, if we can get another crop behind it, we, we have a Cinderella story number two, we'll see.